Hi everyone and welcome back. So in this video we will start writing components for our Flickr app demo. So in this we, we are going to create search bar, the photos component and the photo list item and photo list component. So let's start that. So this is our index.js and this is our app.js. Okay. So what we are doing here is currently we don't have any components created. So first of all what we will do is we will create component folder and we will create services folder because here we are going to make services to two different APIs one is Jiffy APIs and one is Flickr APIs so components and we can create another folder which is services services is the place where we are going to make an API call to two these different services so it can be a Flickr service and it can be a Jiffy service Flickr service.ts we are creating these two services uh, Flickr service and Jiffy service so another is Jiffy service.js okay we can put dot only just to make it common okay now what we are going to happen in this is just we are going to make an API call so we already have the API keys for both, both these different kind of services like what will be the API call we are going to make for the Flickr service so we already have these API keys created now we just need to make an API call export const Flickr search all the demo application which we have created till now all are not having backend we are just accessing the open APIs which we have already available uh, on the internet and we are just making building the URL and then making an API call so this API URL we already have the API URL and now we are just going to do the fetch on this so const API URL we have and we can use either Axios or you can use fetch so here we are using fetch on this URL API URL we have and we do dot then on that we'll get a promise return from their response response to json and now we will get the data from that api call like if we are getting data then we can just assign it what we are going to return so it is going to return photos so data dot photos dot map so here we also wanted to format the image we are getting so every item of the image we are getting we will just call format method and we are passing this image to that method okay and we are returning that array directly if we got any error so we have a catch block in catch we are capturing the array we are error we are getting so we can just say okay you got return error or you can log it or whatever you can do here in this format image so there is another method we have is format which is doing nothing but it is just formatting the image in the required way const format you can write an anonymous function with help of arrow function and what we are returning is so we are getting the image so we are just constructing the URL of that image so we can return the ID and the URL of the image so here we are getting the image so this image is being constructed like this so same kind of service we can write in the Jiffy service it is also a kind of same API call only the API keys will be different here in this case and the API URL will be different so we have changed it and the API URL will be different which we have in this otherwise if other things will be same here also we are making a fetch API URL we got the JSON we are setting the data and here also we will be formatting the image and the image formatting here we are getting a different set of data so when you hit this API call you will come to know what data you are getting so here we are getting image ID and another thing is the URL URL of the image we are getting a different one 
so we'll just put it here now our both the services are ready to dispatch some kind of a data we have id url so this is a kind of data every object will have in this array so we are getting the photos array and outside uh, in that photos array we are actually formatting the image and returning this key value pair in the jiffy service let's call it as a jiffy service here we are getting a result so consider if we are getting data we can call it as a response so out inside response we will have a data and then we are getting we are doing a map onto it okay this can be image every image item so we have created this flickr service and jiffy service now coming to the components so in the component we can have c search bar is the top component so first we will build the search bar component and then we will import that in the app.js and we will arrange all these components together in one file so here we can create search.js in search bar we are going to have just a simple text field and one drop down which you were having and there was some sub submit button right so here we can just import react import react from react and then we can write our functional component const uh, it can be you can call it the search bar this is the props i am receiving or i am calling the parent class method and here we will have a return inside return we will be returning jsx okay now in the search in the search bar we have a text field we have the drop down so first of all we will just have a division class class name we have is search and inside it we have a lot of things which is like label and this label is for search images okay and then there is input text field simple one input type text which we have written many times oh, I mean. then we have input type text field and we will have own change method and all these things on top of it so placeholder will be okay enter search term and then we have value value will be coming from so here whatever you are entering search value and uh, on change this is a dom event which we need to handle so here you can say search term change and we are not going to handle all, any of these methods here we'll just send these events on the top on key press is also another method and what we are saying is trigger this method even if there is an entry clicked so event and event you just check if event is enter so sometimes we want that when you submit the form even if enter is pressed right so here we can write some code event dot key if event dot key equal equal to enter if you have pressed enter in that case also submit this form so here we will be calling search search method we are calling so that is available in the parent component so either we can just use props first of all let's use props so you have to call this props dot search value props dot search value change okay and props dot search now this is done here we can just close it okay so we have this text field now another one is we have a drop down and the search button drop down also is a select drop down so we can simply write select drop down and we'll just format it select drop down is a value value means the engine either a ziffy search or a flicker search on change we are making the call again so it is all coming from props so there are many ways we can just do a destructuring directly instead of putting everywhere props this is a simpler way so here you can do a destructuring and pass all the values so here we are getting search value and then search value change we are getting these directly search term change 
and the research methods which we can we are directly we can directly call so these three properties coming from this and then there is a drop down from drop down we are getting engine and engine value change means you are changing the drop down right so you are actually changing the engine it will search in different set of apis okay now we are freed from this props stuff and we will just export default search bar okay this is our search bar component is ready we can add the appropriate classes needed for it so this is search input and placeholder is there value is search value coming from the parent component on change we are emitting an event similarly there is a select now coming back to our uh, parent component app.js so in app.js here we are going to have some state uh, we will fix these things so state is loading if you are if you are making some api call default search value is car engine is flicker and photos is empty so our objective is uh, with the flicker engine whenever you are typing something in the search bar then just uh, make an api call and get the photos and pass this photos to the child component okay so here componented mount we are making search so this search what it is doing it is setting the images empty and then search for assets so this is an api call we will be making search for assets here we are make, passing the search value and the engine okay now coming back to the component rendering so here we will first write the search component this we have already created so in search whenever you are typing something so we will be doing this search this dot search method is there and then engine is we are also passing engine as a props this dot state dot engine so we are actually combining the class based component with the search based component i mean functional component engine changed search engine changed uh, okay this dot search engine changed and there is one more thing is search term change so these all are actually the events coming from the child component we can use the same method name search value we are passing to the child component which is this dot state dot search value here comes our uh, child component okay in the parent we have defined a child component now we can see are we getting all these attributes in search search engine changed okay it is engine changed not search engine changed so we'll just modify it we are passing engine changed search term change and search value search term change and search values so all these we are getting from the app component and most of these are we are getting from the state okay in the state we have loading search value engine and photos okay now here we can decide if photos are empty then we have to make an api call and i don't like the syntax so we'll just try to replace it this dot search so we can actually use uh, here we are calling this method and passing the search value also so in the search function what we are doing is we are making an api call based on the event so what we can do is we can just bind this method here instead of writing this search term change search engine change we will just remove all these search engine change and then there is a search term change so search term change should emit some value ok search engine change then search term change this should be emitting some event object from the child component and that same event object we can pass here so that e dot target dot value because these are one is a text field one is a select right and value is flicker or giphy right so when you change it we are emitting this event and from event object only we will get the value so event changed here is our app component so from the event object we will be able to capture them so if you see this we are getting the target dot value and setting the engine here so whenever you are changing engine so this is called a set state callback 
whenever you are changing the engine we are calling the search function okay and whenever you are changing the term so here search term change we are just updating the search value in the state so whenever you are clicking on the search so here is a search method so whenever you are clicking on to the search we are calling this dot search method which is just getting the value from the state and whatever the in current engine we have whatever the current value we have and it is making call and it is updating the photos so we are getting the photos from here and what is search from assets search from assets is uh, we can create one search service and search service will just check what you are passing I mean is it, is it a flicker or is it a Jiffy based on that it will make a API call so it is simple function term and engine if engine is this then it will make this search service so it is a flicker service and it is a Jiffy service okay we are exporting because we are importing this is fine this is also fine flicker search and Jiffy search okay we got it now we are just making call to that service from here search for assets we are passing the term and the engine because engine can be a flicker engine can be a giphy and we are getting the photos and we are setting it now rest all the other things so whenever there is an api call we are making the loading as a true here you can see loading we are making as a true so and then once we get the data or we get the error then we are making loading as a false so we have to write it somewhere like uh, how we are going to get the data so we have to create the photos component also so here inside the div here we can wrap it around a fragment division class app this is search bar after that we can write div inside that div we can write all these conditions this dot state dot loading if this is happening then just render the loading component if you have a custom loading component you can put otherwise what I just do is I just put a loading message so this is when the loading is happening okay if photos are if photos length is empty then we'll just say no search found okay otherwise if you got the photos photos can be a different either it can be a flicker or either it can be a uh, jiffy right so we can just make a conditional check here if loading is false when we are getting the photos once loading is false photos dot length first of all should be greater than zero and this dot state dot loading should be should not be happening okay so if photos dot length is greater than zero then we can actually create a fragment here which we are getting from react so I react dot fragment inside that we can write our whole code so what we are going to write is based on the engine we will decide what we are going to render so our if this dot state dot engine because there are two different engines we have flicker so if engine is If engine is flicker in that case render this component so we have photos photos and videos because from the jiffy we are getting the videos so we'll just pass the photos in the state which is coming from the state so here we will say this dot state dot photos okay and on image click because we are actually mouse over whenever you are clicking onto the image this dot on image click we can have some kind of uh, event whenever you are clicking on to any image same condition we have for Ziffy so if, if engine is Ziffy then what we can do is here we can have a videos component and we are just passing the same set of photos and videos it should be let's make it a small so same photos and videos we are passing because this is what we are getting on image click this dot on image click okay 
so these two components more we have to build these components are nothing but we are getting passing the photos to those component so photos and videos photos will be a simple component which will be just iterating on to the set of photos we have got and it will be just rendering all the photos from this list okay so that is like a custom code we will be writing but now can we customize this can we can i convert this whole code into simple functional component because i don't write class based component so this practice i am doing just to make things more clear let's convert this into a functional component here if this this constructor state can go to my use use state hook const app state set app state something like this and i can have all this state inside of one object this is my initial object and i have these state initially okay now we will just keep updating this state component did mount so here i can use use effect and from the use effect it, we are rent, we are calling this once so we will just what we do is on we just calling search method here so search method will make a default search here these are like arrow functions we will convert them so i'm converting now this class based component to a functional component and we'll see so now we don't have a set state so we'll just change it later const search i'm just converting that into an arrow function on image click can also be converted like this first we will just change all these methods then we will talk about this JSX ok now coming back to the top here this is my state in use effect I am calling search this is my search method so here I am just updating some state right so here what I can do is I will be calling set app state wherever I wanted to change something on search set app state and this is my current state current state is my current state is app state and based on that I am overriding some properties so this is my current state and you just override these two properties same thing you will be do everywhere here also we are just updating photos so here we have photos also so we are just updating photos and loading false photos and loading false so we got photos from there now if any error is coming we will just override this state we are saying is loading is false photo is still an empty array or whatever you wanted to set so we are able to convert it into a function component this is how we can do it so all the other places also we will just do it now this set of things like whenever you are just changing the engine value and you wanted to call the search function again how you can do it you can do it in the use effect so here you just pass the engine value so what do we have app state dot engine so whenever the engine is getting changed it will automatically call this method okay so from here what you need to do is you just need to change the state rest use effect will take care okay so what we can do is we just we are just changing the engine value so same thing search engine value change app state and here engine never override the whole value here we are using spread operator which means the existing state and we are just overriding the engine so if engine is updated then search method will again called this is search method again it will just get the search value so here we will get everything from app state dot search value and app state dot engine right it will make a call to search now coming to this you don't need to write uh, these functions like this so search equal to here we are calling this search function so it can be a simple arrow function we have already written 
here app state dot engine here this here we are getting something from the event object right so we can just call this function search event change so this should be fine we can just remove this object because this event object we are getting from child component but we have already written arrow function so we should not need this we are directly calling this in the parent component okay search event change and search value changed and here app state dot search value app state dot loading so i mean this is just an example in the next video we'll just finish this off and i will just update this so here what we are doing is we have converted that into the functional component use effect whenever the engine is getting changed we are calling this method and we are calling this search functional okay so this is how you can you can actually analyze the class based component create service services are simple one here we are just we are making an api call using fetch or axios we are getting the data and we are setting that in the components okay in the next video let's create these photos and videos component and let's finish this off thanks everyone